1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 up to 10 up to infinity is equal to negative 1 over 12. What? That's impossible. That must be wrong. How on earth can that happen? Adding all the positive numbers will surely yield a number greater than a fraction, let alone a negative number. No not for this guy, Srinivasa Ramanujan, a famous Indian mathematician. He have proven mathematically why is this possible. So first, let us solve the solution for this sequence. 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 up to infinity. To start, I am going to assign A as the sum of the sequence and transpose this one to the left side of the equation which yields a minus 1 is equal to negative 1 plus 1 minus 1 that follows infinity then let's factor out negative in the right side of the equation so we have a minus 1 factor the negative so we have negative quantity 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 up to infinity as you can see 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 up to infinity is just equal to a so a minus 1 is equal to negative a which yields a is equal to 1 half therefore the sum of the sequence a is equal to 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 up to infinity is equal to 1 half let's move on to the next sequence what is the sum of 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 minus 6 up to infinity first let's assign a variable for this say b b is equal to 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 up to infinity then let's subtract b from a so we have here a minus b which is equal to okay, this quantity 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 up to infinity minus the quantity of b which is 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 up to infinity then subtract the second sequence from the first sequence so we have a minus b so this first term to the other term we have 1 minus 1 and the second term negative 1 minus the negative 2 which yields as a positive sign plus 2 then follows 1 minus 3 negative 1 plus 4 1 minus 5 up to infinity solving this we yield 0 plus 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 up to infinity now as you have noticed this sequence 0 plus 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 is just equal to b which means a minus b is equal to b now since a is equal to 1 half we substitute this one which makes 1 half is equal to 2b thus B is equal to 1 fourth, which means the sum of the sequence 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 plus 5 up to infinity is equal to 1 fourth. Now, let's do the same process for the sequence 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 up to infinity. Let's assign a variable for the sequence. Say C. C is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 up to infinity and then let's subtract c from b thus b minus c is equal to quantity 1 minus 2 plus 3 minus 4 up to negative 10 up to infinity minus the quantity of c which is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to infinity now let's subtract the two sequence the first term to the other first term so we have 1 minus 1 also for the second term negative 2 minus 2 and then we have here 3 minus 3 
and we have here negative 4 minus 4 up to infinity. Simplifying, we see that this is 1 minus 1, 0, then this one is negative 4, and the third sequence is 0, and the fourth sequence is negative 8, and so on. So we see now that b minus c is equal to negative 4, minus 8, minus 12, minus 16, minus 20, up to infinity. Now, as you have seen, these numbers, as we have patterned this one, these are divisible by negative 4. Now, let's factor out negative 4 from the right side of the equation. So we have negative 4, okay, times the quantity 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 up to infinity. Now, since 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 up to infinity is equal to c, and b is equal to 1 fourth, then we have 1 fourth minus c is equal to negative 4c. So we have here 1 fourth is equal to negative 3c, which yields negative 1 over 12. Thus, the sequence 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10 up to infinity is equal to negative 1 over 12.